Ubiquiti have just released a video about two hours ago and we're going to go through some of the announcements that they made in this. Let me add in a disclaimer that I don't have this product yet. This is just a quick reaction video and my thoughts on the product. If you want to see a full video on this, when I get it, I will link it down in the comments below so you can go ahead and check it out. So the first one was the alarm manager, which I covered in another video and I've showed you the quick demos and how that works. So if you want to check that out, the playlist is down in the description so you can check that out. The next one was around the Pro AV. So we know with their recent release that they've allowed Pro AV in terms of their network management to give the QoS capability within there. We didn't expect Unify Play. So let's check this out. Becoming the newest member of the SDVOE Alliance. We've added new specific low latency software optimizations for Pro Max switching and with predefined port profiles. That bit right there is what we were saying about the port profiles and you can see it literally right there where it says Unify Play. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit more detail shortly. So let's let's continue. Unify switching is now ready to power demanding Pro AV deployments. For setup help, visit ui.com slash Pro AV. And for a truly converged networking and premium audio experience, we're excited to introduce. So by the looks of it, you can see right here, networking and premium that Unify Play is going to be an app in itself. It doesn't look to be anything that's going to be part of the current UI stack in terms of having a Unify gateway. This looks completely independent. Premium audio experience. We're excited to introduce our latest Unify application, Unify Play. And there we go. There's the logo and the first look at Unify Play itself. So if you're excited about this as much as I am, this looks to be a really good competitor coming in for Sonoff. So I have big hopes for this and I'm hoping they're going to do this quite well. Featuring a meticulously crafted, insanely powerful amplifier. And you can see just on the back there some of the connectivities that's going to be coming in. So this is the amplifier that's going to be available soon. Designed to delight even the most discerning audiophiles. Moving on to access. Protect shortcuts have expanded and to support part. instant door unlocking overlaid. And the final part was the overlay of the shortcuts that I showed you again in a previous video. There's a link down in the description if you want to check that out and see how that works. But this allows you basically to put shortcuts on an existing camera and this works within Protect or Access. We've added the ISP viewer, which automatically detects your internet service providers and consolidates them for powerful uptime and latency analysis. Finally, we are excited. They've added some additional features into the site manager for the ISP. And the last one they've added in is API access, which is going to be great for MSPs and anybody that looks that they manage currently multiple items of Unify equipment across multiple sites. So this can only get better as we go along. Added to release version 0.1 of the Unify API to early access in an effort to better integrate Unify site manager with third party monitoring applications. Have something in particular you want us to add? Drop us a line in the API page. We're headed back to the lab. That is a really good feature right there that's going to be coming with this, which is the API. It is currently in early access, so do keep that one in mind if you're going to start playing around with it. The next thing I wanted to take a look at is premium audio networking and converge, which is their tagline that they're using. So this is Unify Play, and this seems to be the app. So it seems to be a quick Bluetooth setup. You select what you want once it's all connected. There we go. That's ready to go. It's full multi-zone audio for those that want to know. And it's the low latency wireless streaming, which is again using the Unify port profiles to making sure with QoS that the traffic goes through efficiently. And you can see right there was the Unify play option. I do have to say I do like the look of these devices. They look quite sleek. They look quite nice. So looking forward to getting my hands on one of those. And there's some FAQs at the bottom for anybody that wants to know if we have a quick look through these. So for those that want to know the size, it needs two U's of vertical space. It operates independently. So as I mentioned, there's no Unify console required. So this is completely independent. And if you want to know what the limitations are, you can have up to 32 power amps that can be grouped simultaneously to be controlled together. So the Unify Power Amp provides 130 watts per channel at eight ohms and 260 watts per channel at four ohms. Let's take a quick look at the product itself. So if you've not seen this on the Unify page, it is out. Let me just zoom in a little bit. This is the Power Amp. It comes in both black and white. Again, we mentioned 130 watts per speaker at eight ohms and included within it, there are two terminal outputs and two custom design banana plugs that come within the box. You have an RCA analog woofer output and an RCA analog input for left and right channels. There's one HDMI input, which is the eARC input, and there's a 1.4 inch rotary knob with a touchscreen on there. That little screen right here that you see on the front 
is touchscreen. So here's your first look at the device. And there you go, you can see what comes inside the box. I do have to say, I do like the look of the black one personally, but it's gonna be down to everybody's individual choice. Now it does say on here that it's coming soon, but I noticed back on here, it does say available August 29th in the US and Europe. So looking forward to getting my hands on one of these. Let me know down in the comments below what you're gonna be doing with this piece of equipment. I'm hoping to get my hands on one of these as soon as they do come out. And if there's something you want me to test, again, let me know down in the comments below. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.